As part of the activities to commemorate the International Human Rights Day, the National Human Rights Commission has organized a forum for civil society organizations in Abuja. Mr. Tony Ojuku san Executive Secretary of NHRC at the event in Abuja, said the forum was organized to discuss emerging issues in protection against violence, socio-economic empowerment, and access to participation. The theme of the 2022 edition of the International Human Rights Day, celebrated on December 10th annually, is Dignity, Freedom, and Justice for All. According to Odriko, the aim of the forum is to discuss civil liberties and the rule of law for the purpose of coming up with an agenda for the promotion and protection of human rights in Nigeria. In Nigeria, civil society is the force that pioneers and sustains initiatives and actions that promotes, protects, and fulfills human rights. From legal actions to advocacy, research and humanitarian interventions, Nigerian civil society groups have shown dexterity and pioneering spirits, even in the harshest environments. Today, we have litanies of legislation such as the Freedom of Information Act, the Child Rights Act, and the Persons with Disabilities Act, which are the sole achievements of civil society organizations in Nigeria. Of course, you know, that without the civil society, the civil space would have been shrunk to a level that we would not have been able to breathe. And for about three or four times, the National Assembly has tried to shrink the civil space with the active collaboration between the National Human Rights Commission and civil society. This has proved impossible. The growth of civil society human rights work has been matched to a great extent with the strengthening of the mandate of the National Human Rights Commission. From humble beginnings as a great... He said access to justice amongst other issues was central to the enjoyment of rights, especially by vulnerable groups and at risk populations, including women, children, IDPs, and persons with disabilities. The growth of civil society human rights work has been matched to a great extent with the strengthening of the mandate of the National Human Rights Commission. From humble beginnings as a creation of military rule, the Commission, through the amendments of this act, has become a major reference point for national human rights institutions on the continent and globally. The independence of the Commission has been threatened, and so is its funding structure, protective mandate, and quasi-judicial powers. Today, we are at the junction of democratic consolidation, which calls for all hands to be on the deck and resources pulled together to advance a human rights-centered approach to governance and development in Nigeria. 